art came very early to me. Um, my first recollections really at the age of five, um, drawing and uh, painting in, in the primary school. Um, the thing that really comes to mind is my headmistress at the time, Jean Oates, um, saw something in uh, some of my paintings and uh, actually entered one in a UNICEF art competition when I was five and um, yeah I won a, won a prize for that and um, I think that set me, set me on my way. Since then I've just loved it, I've just loved the paintbrush in hand and I've always drawn and, and painted. Um, did uh, matriculation art at high school, which I failed. <laughs> um, but having said that, I sold some of the works that I showed uh, at high school, which none of the other students did. So what's, what's, a, what's a pass mark really? What's it really mean? You know? I try all sorts of art materials. I love trying different things, um, everything from the humble pencil to um, you know expensive oil paints and everything in between. Um, drawing, printmaking, uh, various types of printmaking, uh, painting, collage. Um, haven't really dabbled in photography, but that's something I like to play around with. But uh, yeah, any of the visual arts uh, really has me. I don't think you can go past the oil paint, um, just the consistency, the beauty of the colour, and the whole feel of it, how it feels to actually use um, the finished product, um, and just the classicness of it. Um, uh, I'm pretty old school in, in how I like to, to paint and draw, and I just like that um, history behind it all. I think so. Uh, yeah, charcoal and, and, and oil paint, the old old standards are, are the way to go for me. Colours, just wonderful. I love all the colours. There's no particular, they're like uh, piano keys to a musician, I suppose. Um, you use them all. So many. Uh, my my um, art library at home is extensive. Um, but you just can't go past the, 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 the big names, so Caravaggio, Rembrandt, um, Brett Whiteley in Australia, of course. Um, just too many, too many. And it changes, it changes all the time, you know. Um, you, you find uh, different um, influences in, in artists, um, both old and new. Um, so it's more what's my favourite artist of the month more than what's my favourite artist, I think. of the fun of it is actually just the researching what's going to happen next um, looking at images from everywhere anything from documentaries to magazines art books um, um, movie posters um, swatch colors there might be a particular color that gets your eye and you know what can I do with that um, and it's hard to articulate it just happens sometimes. Um, I might have a very, very vague idea of where I want to go, uh, but as to image on paper, that's um, very intuitive. Very intuitive. I think all the uh, the research um, just muddles up in the mind, and then something just comes out. Artist block, uh, how much has been written about artist block? For me it happens, um, particularly uh, it seems after I've done a whole series of work or worked on a show um, and I've usually made a fair bit of work and it seems to be almost like a burnout um, and I can tell it's coming on because things just start to go wrong and things don't flow. Um, and you've got to just say, okay, that's it, that's, let's just stop. Yeah, bad days happen all the time. Um, it's just part of the journey. You just have to um, work your way through it. And sometimes the bad days can be bad months and bad six months. And um, you 
battle through and uh, we're doing it for long enough now to know that okay it's it's going to come good and then I'll have a huge surge and then I'll just be so prolific um, I don't know where it's coming from and then it just slows down and stops again. The research thing, I think. So, you know, I'm blocked, I can't, I've got no ideas, nothing's happening, everything I try isn't working. Um, I throw away so much artwork during that period, um, it just doesn't work. Um, so it's okay, let's just look. Let's just look and see what's around, um, look at what other artists are doing, documentaries, TV shows, magazines, books, go through the, the library of books again uh, and eventually just something will spark and then off I go again and yeah. Uh, I think it's a tough gig uh, working here. Uh, it's a tough blue collar town um, and the arts are very low on the ladder rung, I think. Um, but having said that, I just do it. I just do it because I have to do it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and in this day and age, when you have um, the internet, um, your art gets seen worldwide now, so it's not, uh, not like it used to be. Uh, and in fact, I've sold art all over the world, so... Um, it doesn't really matter, I think. Uh, when I sell a piece of artwork, it, it is validating. Um, I've done something right. Somebody's taken the time to have a look at it, first of all. Uh, appreciated it. And uh, it's meant something to them. Uh, the amount of t times I've had uh, buyers who have contacted me and said, you know, um, this just really means something that, to me, the story hits me. Um, I've cried in front of your work. Um, it's been so emotional um, and that is great. Um, it may not have been my story or what I thought the painting was about, um, but that's the beauty of it. Uh, when, when paintings go, um, they have their own life and their own stories and I think the viewer um, adds their piece to it all. Having a gallery in Ireland so far away when I haven't got really a gallery here, uh, that was different. Um, yeah, and, and selling, selling work there, so uh, having that sort of international feel and selling some work in America and Canada and uh, yeah, but I just love the work, so I would do it regardless, I think. It doesn't really matter. I firmly believe there has to be a narrative in a piece. There has to be a story. Um, even in like maybe Matisse's beautiful still lives, there's still something there. There's a story, there's him in there. So, you know, paintings can still be decorative, but still have a narrative, I think that's the most important thing at all. I think the worst thing for an artwork is that you, and you see it in exhibitions where people would just go from painting to painting to painting, no emotion, nothing, but if they stop, that painting's done something to them. Now they can hate the painting, uh, but it's made them stop and look. Uh, that's, a, that's a great thing, and I've had people I've watched people at, at exhibitions and, um, you know, they've stopped in front of particularly one work of mine way, way back in the piece. And they come up to me and they said, my God, what nightmares did you have when you painted that? What drugs were you on when you painted that? That's the most awfulest thing. Um, but it didn't matter because I saw them just bypass most of the exhibition, but they stopped at that one. Um, so it struck a chord. That's what art is. It strikes a chord. Touch.
Senhor.